The sounds of toolboxes, machines, and instructors are common occurrences at Metro Technology Center's Aviation Career Campus. But for Kirk Billings, sight and touch are his main tools as an aircraft mechanic for Tinker Air Force Base and a student obtaining his airframe and power plant license at Metro Tech. I'm working on a 401 Cessna. I'm looking in the engine to see if it has any leaks. After his shift at Tinker, Kurt comes to Metro Tech for class from 3 to 10.30 at night. Jamie Davis, Metro Tech's staff interpreter, is his talking shadow. Kurt had to teach me the signs he and his previous interpreter had established for specific parts on the airplane. So it took some time for me to learn the new signs. But I've learned a lot. Oh, good reference material. This is reference. This isn't data. Everyone in Kurt's educational setting aircraft. has an influence on his success. In order for Kurt to be able to succeed, the accommodations that we needed to provide for him or interpreter services, it's concept and a way of thinking um, that has to, to happen. And that had to be a different mindset for the instructors, for the students, for all the people that interacted with Kurt. It has to be a, a different mindset. Kurt's desire to work in aviation began with a family inspiration. Really, I became interested in working with airplanes because my grandfather worked on the B-52 a long time ago when he was my age. Kurt chose to take the same path as some of his fellow classmates who attended Metro Tech's Aviation Career Center during high school. This school has taught me what I need to know about aviation mechanics. I became more experienced as I started to work on the airplanes. Kurt plans to continue working for Tinker, but for Kurt, it doesn't stop there. My ultimate goal while working at Tinker would be to continue my education for an aerospace engineering degree. My second long-term goal is to possibly work for NASA. We'll see who hires me in the future. With Kurt's dedication to aviation, his future is looking bright.